Hi, my name is Renee. Welcome to my channel. I think this is probably, um, depending on what I upload first, this is probably going to be like my first like sit down video. I think I filmed another video, but I took it off. So this is probably the first time you're meeting me face to face, at least. Um, this is what I'm hoping. So I just wanted to film this video on some things I've bought recently. They're non-luxury. Listen, I'm all about the luxury, but sometimes you just find great finds that are non-luxury. Um, and even not just like Zara or Topshop. I ventured out more into other stores. I mean, I've always shopped at little stores here and there, but other stores and online sites that I've been kind of afraid to try either because I don't always trust online sites or I've ordered from them before and gotten things I don't like. I decided to give them a try again and I've ordered some stuff and bought some stuff in store and I just wanted to share it with you because I really love the stuff that I got. So the first thing I'm going to start with is some purchases from Forever 21. Yes, you can find some gems at Forever 21, and I have. Um, I always go in there, here and there, and I know the store is a mess, and I know sometimes the stuff is not of good quality, but every once in a while, you find something really good. And I especially go there when I want something trendy because you don't always want to spend a lot of money on something trendy because the style may not last. Um, not that it really matters because if you like something, you like something. But especially with trendy stuff, I like to get them at a cheaper price. So we'll start off with the hats. So I got two hats from Forever 21. I think they were $20 a piece. And the first hat I got is this wide brim hat. I think they were ones that were a little wider, but I think this is pretty wide. So I think this hat is totally cool. It's got like a Western feel to it. Um, oh, the tag is still on here. It is. It cost me $22.99. I just think this hat is really cute. I haven't worn this one yet, but I can't wait to style it. Um, I just think it's just going to look really nice. It's really going to put an outfit together. So that's the first hat. Now the second hat is like this cream color similar to the other one wide brim but i think the brim on this one is even bigger and i have worn this one already um at the end i'll leave the link to my instagram so you can check out how i styled it but i really love this hat and i think it was almost the same price as the other one um about twenty dollars or so um this one's a little different it's got like a little velour trim going around it is just super cute and I don't know I just love it so those are the two hats that I got so the next thing that I got from forever 21 are two little bags and I think they're so cute um, the first one I got is kind of like a dupe for the Alexander Wang bag um, I don't know if you've seen the latest bags that he's had that he has out I'm sorry they come with like these gemstones or these rhinestones they are so pretty and then i went on his site and he does have different colors he has like you know like a brownish um like an amber kind of rhinestone pink uh the silver well forever 21 had a little dupe and i think this is 22.99 but i think i may have gotten it when they had a promotion so i may have paid a little less for this but I, at first, I wanted the one with the silver gemstones, but that sold out. So I wound up getting this one, and I love it. I haven't worn it yet because I wanted to film this video first. Do you see the shine on this? The sparkles? So pretty. And also, when you get, like, I'm not a, I'm not an advocate of buying fakes, but I do buy, like, designer-inspired or dupes for certain um, items, especially sometimes just to try it out to see if I want to get the real one. Or like I said, if it's something that I think is really, really trendy, I don't want to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on something and I may not like it 
next year or I may not like it in a year or two so definitely I think this is a great buy I think it even has like a chain it does have a chain so you can make a crossbody like you can wear it just like this adorable and the next little bag I got is this one right here also from forever 21 the retail price on this i believe it was about 20 dollars also <clears throat> but online they were having a promotion or a sale and i paid six dollars and 90 cents for this so cute i mean this is pretty much like a going out type of bag like you can't put a lot a lot in here but compared to some other mini bags that i've seen um this will probably fit your a, like a small card holder your phone if you put it at the bottom a compact chapstick or a lipstick <clears throat> and you'll be good to go so definitely super cute can't wait to wear this also and nowadays i'm only buying things that i really 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 love in the past i've bought things just kind of like eh, maybe i like it or maybe i can wear it maybe i can style it i don't want to do that anymore this is how i wind up with a bunch of stuff and i'm giving things away so if i don't really really love it i'll return it or i won't buy it at all the next thing that i got <clears throat> is this scarf i know it's just a scarf but i love it because it's so different like you just stick this part in and it's like that down kind of you know style and it just wraps around your neck like this this i also got on sale i paid five dollars for this five bucks and trust me i live in the northeast and this will definitely keep me warm okay and <clears throat> Another thing that I got from Forever 21 is this chain belt. So I think it's one size fits all because it's like really, there's no holes. So it's just a chain belt like this. I think this would look so cute with like a plain black dress or a plain white dress or any color dress you choose to for that matter. Um... Online, they had the model wearing it with jeans, which looked cute also. But I definitely think this would pull together a dress. I mean, it's loud, but I wouldn't wear too much jewelry with this because it's so loud. But it's just such a cute, like, standout piece. I just had to get it. Now we're going to move on to most of the things that I got, which were shoes. I went a little cuckoo with the shoes. I know we're not going anywhere, but I found such cute shoes for winter and summer that i could not leave them so i'm gonna do the two forever 21 boots first and then i'll move on to the other brands and at the end i have cutaways of how the shoes look on my feet so it just is just gonna show you how it looks on because i know sometimes it's hard to tell just by someone holding it up so the first pair of boots that i got are these love 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 these and although they look high because it's a platform they're so comfortable and i'm not a high heel like wearer 24 7 so for me to say these are comfortable is big i really i wore these once to go out to brunch with my friend and i really enjoyed wearing this and this is odd for me to say because usually i want to run home and put on my sneakers but this felt so good and it looks so cute and it's not too dressy but it kind of like is not dressed down also because of the heel super cute i mean you could kind of almost say this is a, a dupe for the louis vuitton boots um i think they're called the trail star trail something like that i can't remember the exact name but there's a zip closure on the side it does have a lace but you don't need to unlace it or unbuckle it to put it on so it's just really easy um the second pair of boots that i got from forever 21 um are these like almost like these combat boots they look like docks almost 
and these again are so comfortable and I had to size half a size down actually I didn't have to I did it just in case because they ran I usually wear a seven and a half and they only had a seven left on the site um that was close to my size and I was like you know what sometimes their shoes run a little big let me just try it and they fit perfectly I wore these with socks and they were just fine love 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 these so comfortable like I said, if I find something somewhere and I like it, I'm going to buy it. I don't care if it's designer or not. I'm going to buy it because I love it. So that's that. And now we're going to move on to Fashion Nova. Now, I at one point said I would never, ever, ever buy anything from Fashion Nova ever again. Because the first time I bought clothes... I think it was mostly clothes I bought from Fashion Nova. I had such a bad experience. I wound up having to return 90% of the things that I bought. And I didn't realize when I first per made my purchase that they don't do refunds. They only give you store credit. Anyway, I after that, I was like, I'm never buying from Fashion Nova again. But I saw another YouTuber going over some shoes or sandals. And I thought, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for. They were so cute. I went on the site and I found them. <clears throat> And I bought two. That's how much I like them. So they are these black, um, let me hold it up a little better, sand, strappy sandals. As you can see, the front is pointy like that. They look so sexy on. And like I said, I'm not a super high heel wearer. I used to be, but I'm more about comfort now anyway. And you would think, yeah, they're almost like... They're not a kitten heel. These may be two and a half or three inches, I'm guessing. But when you wear them, they're so sexy. You can't even tell that the heel is this short. It doesn't give you like that look, you know, that you don't want where you're like wearing a kitten heel. It's just so, so cute. It doesn't look like the heel is super short. And it's not super short. It, like I said, it's probably two and a half to three inches. Um, so yeah, so I got this one from, uh, Fashion Nova and I did size up half a size and in the end, I'll try to put the names down in the end in the info box, just in case you're looking for these, but these are tight. I love these. And I also got them in like the tan kind of color or nude kind of color. Maybe you'll be able to see them a little better. But this is it. Pointy in the front. It's still cold out here, so I haven't worn these yet. But like I said, in the end, I have a cutaway. I don't believe I filmed the black in the cutaway, but I feel I filmed the nude in the cutaway. So you'll be able to see what it looks like on. So here they are. And the strap, I believe, um, it ties around your ankle. It, criss it kind of crisscrosses you just slip your foot in and it ties around um your ankle so that's that from fashion nova they kind of got me back they got me a little interested now because i had said like i said i would never buy from fashion nova again but they kind of got me back and they're comfortable um i expected them to hurt but they felt pretty good and oh i have another actually i have two more shoes from forever 21 i didn't realize because I was so focused on the boots. But this I got from Forever 21. And they are kind of like the prospect kind of heel. Um, but I don't know if you can see like the little gemstones in the front. I thought these were really different. Or at least different enough. Um, and they have a buckle on the side these sling backs are so cute and they're so comfortable if they weren't i would have returned them um so here they go again i haven't worn these yet so these i got from forever 21 sorry about the lighting if it looks kind of like off or bad I just got this ring light, and I, this is my first time trying it out, so I hope this comes out okay. 
the next pair of shoes that I got are from Ego. And I ordered two pairs of shoes from Ego. They were having like a sale about a month ago. And I bought two Bottega Veneta dupes. Um, one I returned because I later on realized I bought the wrong size. So I just gave them to a friend. And um, these I kept. I don't know how long these are going to be in style for. But I know they, they were like on trend like last summer. And I wanted to try them out. So like they're like the square um, type of heel in the front. Now these I tried on. They're comfortable. Um, they're not as comfortable as some of the other shoes I bought. But they're pretty comfortable. Um, it's padded here. It's like really thickly padded. This didn't bother my foot in the sense of it rubbing. It, it may just be a little tight, but I think, you know, as you wear it, it'll loosen up a little bit. I don't have narrow feet, so these fit pretty nicely. I like these. So, these are the sandals from Ego. Again, I feel like my light is going out, but whatever so this is it right here and I think I paid like 20 bucks or less for these so if I decide I don't like them anymore or they were a thing of the past and I decide I don't want to wear them anymore I can it, it won't hurt my pockets um, and then the last shoes or the last pair of sandals I got were from Forever 21. And these, I like them. And I know I said this whole thing about loving them, but I think I may love them. Or they may become useful in the summer. We shall see. But again, I didn't pay a lot of money for them. So just in case, it won't hurt my pockets too much. So these are kind of like they almost have like a square toe and like a block heel. And it's got like the little toe ring style here sandal. You know, it's got like the faux animal print. Oh, I should put it this way. Like the faux animal print thing going. Now the heel is comfortable. What bothers me a little bit is like the inside. I don't know if it's like the stitching that I feel. I have really sensitive skin. So I don't know if it's like the stitching that I feel that's bothering me when I wear them. <clears throat> but I do feel it. I don't like to feel like things like that when I'm wearing a shoe. This is why I'm a little so-so about these. But um... I kept them either way so I think that's about it um yeah these are the things I bought recently non-luxury now I have some luxury shoes that I bought and sneakers mostly sneakers and I want to film that in a separate video so I'm waiting for one more item and when I get that I'm going to film like a luxury uh sneaker shoe sandal haul you could call it so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it write your questions down below if you have any um i once again i'm trying to be more engaged and trying to you know uh come on here a little more and be more consistent in shooting videos so i really appreciate you guys for watching everyone stay safe and stay blessed and have a good day Thanks. Bye.